Hello YouTube, I am Venomman20. Crocodilians are some of the most efficient and complex predators in the world. This is the physiology of crocodilians. Today we are going to be working with my large American alligator. He is about six foot long. If we start right down here at the head, if you look right here, as he's swimming up to his potential prey item, you'll notice that the first three things that bird, or the only three things that really break the surface, would be his nose, his eye, and his ear. These are the most needed things to be able to spot and determine how far away a prey item is so then he can efficiently catch it and kill it. Next, we're going to move on to the bottom jaw and upper jaw. There are a whole bunch of little dots. There are thousands of them. These are all sensors to help him indicate in totally dark or totally murky water uh, fish or other potential prey item. These can also be used if the crocodilian happens to go blind or loses his eyesight, which is also blind. <laughs> right back here on the back of his neck, you just notice this big old ball of fat. But actually, that's not fat at all. That is all muscle. His skull is too small to contain all the muscle it takes necessary to close his jaws and hold on to the prey item as efficiently as they do. So all the muscle is actually stored right back here inside the neck. Next, we will go with the, we'll talk about these little bony plates right here. These are actual bone directly underneath the skin and they are called osteoderms. These are a lot like Swiss cheese. They are very holy little bones that help regulate the temperature of the crocodilian plus work as armor. They also, science has just found out that if an alligator is swimming straight forward towards a prey item, they disperse the water in such a way that the prey item does not feel any wake or any of the water coming towards them so they don't flee or threat, try to get away. Next, we'll go ahead and go down here to the tail. The tail don't look like much. It is a very pure muscle. It also has fat storage, but mainly it's a pure piece of muscle. There's a muscle right here on this side, and there's a muscle right here on this side. One pulls as the other pushes, being very efficient at swimming. If we go on the inside, right here inside the skull, there's a brain that has a cerebral cortex. Very few reptiles have a cerebral cortex. That is the part of the brain dedicated to higher learning. Like for instance, the Nile crocodile can find or can remember when the migration patterns of gazelles and zebras when they cross the river and are the easiest to catch. Saltwater crocodiles can remember the migration patterns of fish and can easily go and be ready for them as they come along the river. Next thing, the heart. Alligators and crocodilians have a four-chambered heart. No other, no other reptile shares this. The four-chambered heart can redirect blood flow right before the attack on a prey item to the jaws and to the tail. This helps them be at their maximum for grabbing and chomping and that explosive power that they have. This is the main thing that helps on that. Then if we go to the liver, the liver is a relatively large organ that can actually move in a crocodilian. If you see a crocodilian just swimming just with his eyes above the water like he is actually looking for a prey item, the liver is farther down inside the back of him to weigh him down. So then he's just swimming along just with his head above the water. If you see an alligator trying to make it some distance, like he's actually has something to do and he's going somewhere, and his whole body's above the water, making this a lot more efficient swimming, his liver is right up here in his chest. That helps his back end float. Anyway, they have these very powerful legs that are just awesome. Their tails are extremely powerful plus their jaws. Whenever they try to catch a prey item, if something was to drop right here, if he was hungry, he would swipe around with his mouth and come around with his tail, which is very awesome and helps for the way that they uh, catch their prey. Then if you also think about their explosiveness, a large crocodilian can come flying out of the water, coming towards a prey item at up to 35 to 40 miles an hour. Then, swimming through the water, a uh, 
large crocodilian, let's say a thousand pound animal, their maximum velocity swim swimming is normally about 12 miles an hour. At 12 miles an hour, if a thousand pound animal hits you, it's like 12,000 pounds of force. I mean, that that's more than a car hitting you at 12 miles an hour. So, well, not a car, that's like a car hitting you at like six miles an hour. But still, it, it would not feel good. There's a lot of power, a lot of force there. A force alone could kill you when they hit you. Um, and just a very awesome animal. But the sad part about it is they have all these unique adaptions to survive inside such a world. And they've did such a good job for millennia. I mean, they've been around forever. But uh, nowadays, a lot of them are going on the endangered species list. A lot of them are very threatened. Uh, Cuban crocodiles, Siamese crocodiles, uh, Philippine crocodiles. There's 23 species of crocodiles and more of them are endangered than there are ones that are thriving. The American alligator used to be a, an extremely endangered animal and it came back from the brink of extinction. And uh, you know, conservation did a wonderful part in protecting these animals and nowadays they're thriving but a lot of them ain't so lucky. Uh, we have 23 species right now and we might be losing a lot of them within the next couple decades if we don't really do something. Crocodilians really need our help and if we don't do something, we are going to be losing most of them. I hope not to lose these magnificent animals. I mean, they are just awesome. They are my passion in life. They, they're incredible. Um, hopefully, I will be able to work with these until the day I die and uh, educate people about them. So, thank you for watching this video. This has been a man 20. Have a wonderful night.